Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Donato Task Scheduling course. My name is Chris, and I will be your instructor for this course where we will learn about using Donato Scheduler. As you can see here in the agenda, I will give you a high level overview of all of the modules of the Donato Scheduler. We will start with an overview of using Donato Scheduler and then see how to build scheduler jobs by configuring various components such as data sources, projects, job sections, etc. And finally, we will see about how to automate various tasks of a virtual data port server. Primary goal of this course is to help students understand the usage of the Donato scheduler and its components, and we will also see how it can be used for automating tasks. In the first module, Donato scheduler overview, students will get to know about Donato scheduler, its features, and architecture. We will also have a demo explaining various components in scheduler and the configuration options in the scheduler. After a scheduler server is configured, scheduler jobs can be created. Primary component of any job is the data sources, which is used to enable access to different sources where the data is located. In the module, Denoto Scheduler Data Sources, we will learn about the data sources available in the Denoto Scheduler and also about the purpose of each source type. Each data source will also be associated with the project. This module also covers how data sources are managed within the projects. Followed by this, in the module Denoto Scheduler Jobs, Exporters, and Handlers, students will learn about different types of jobs such as VDP, VDP Cache, and VDP Indexer, how they can be configured, including options like exporters to move data to other systems, handlers, retries in case of errors, reports, and time based scheduling in the form of demonstrations. Further, in the module, Automations, Refreshing the Cache, students will learn about how to use the Donato Scheduler jobs to automate refreshing the cache, remote table, and summaries of virtual data port. Then, in the generation of statistics, you will get to know about gathering statistics automatically by using the predefined store procedures. And then, with the help of lab exercises, you will also learn how view statistics can be gathered automatically using the store procedures. And finally, in the indexing data module, students will learn about indexing view data using Denoto Scheduler and also about how to use these indexes for content search in Data Catalog. As final summary, in this course, we will cover Denoto Task Scheduling by giving an overview of using Denoto Scheduler, how to create and configure scheduler jobs, and finally, about how to automate tasks using Denoto Scheduler. Happy learning.